tips and tricks. All right, guys, we're in week three, day two. And yes, there's a board over there. That's why I just looked over there. Scratch. Scratch. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in week three, day two. Now, this is there's 21 days. We're on day 11. This is about the halfway point. So if you've come this far with us, we are so freaking proud of you. Like, so tap proud. Tap yourself on the back. Give yeah. yourself that proverbial tap. Totally. Yeah. This is half glass full, day 11. Stay with us. Doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. yeah it's we're doing also it. when I think things start to get hard, right? You just had a couple days break. We're coming back after the weekend. Christmas is coming. There's so much going on. So much going on. Depending on where you live, you might be in lockdown. You know, you're scrambling to try to get everything bought online. Depending on where you live, you might have kids at home with you. There's so much distraction that this becomes almost like a chore. Don't let that happen. Don't let it become a chore. I want you to keep it in your mind as your time, as your meditation, as your relaxation. It's not a chore. This is the one time, the one time today that maybe you put aside everything and you do something just for you. If you keep it that way, you keep it in your heart as like your time, you'll lose the mundane sensation that it's a task. Because it's not. You're doing this for yourself. It, it may... Yeah, it may seem like a task at the beginning. Like, you're only in week two if you're beginning, or sorry, week three, you've done two weeks so far. So yeah, it's gonna maybe still be super challenging and hopefully you're taking the regressions that we're giving you so that it's still enjoyable. Like, we want you still to enjoy it. So regress as in like, take the moves back as far as you can until the point where you're enjoying it. Because if you enjoy something, you're gonna keep showing up. If you don't enjoy it, then yeah, it will seem like a task. This is supposed to be time to yourself. Tell me you're not worth half an hour a day. Like I will call you a liar. It's not you're true. You're a liar, Fred, or Frank, <laughs> or <laughs> it's mostly women. Mostly okay. Tina, Maybe not. I hope there's liar, dudes out Tina. there listening. Okay, so I have I have an idea. So at this point, we probably already started to change in our body, but these you're are not things, seeing yeah, it. You don't notice it. You will it. not see it yet. The rule is first you'll notice a little change, and then your significant other, and then people outside of your circle. So depending on your circumstance, you might be the only person to see these changes. So feel the changes. Feel these Usually changes. it's feel changes, and then it's see changes. So we're all, all of you out there, you're gonna have different goals for yourself. What, you know, Barbara wants her perfect body to be might not be the same as what, like, Susan wants, these yeah. are like really 80s names. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, seriously, Susan and Barbara. Okay, Aww. so I love you, Barb. Um, anyways. Um, so no, I but was, I was saying the goals might are not going to be the same for different people. So, yeah, so the kinds it may be of a feeling, it may well. be a look. So you're not focusing necessarily on the scale. What I want you to think about, what we want you to think about is those non-nominal goals. Okay. I wouldn't even pay attention. Don't even step on the scale. Because in my opinion, do you know what actually step starts on to it? happen? When you start to work out, your body starts to build muscle before you lose fat. So the scale is the biggest mind fuck because it'll actually start to go up. It does not mean shit, this workout is making me gain weight. It's like, yes, this workout is making me gain muscle, which will help to burn that fat. Okay? So do not step on the scale. Instead, focus on those non-nominal gains. How your clothes fit, the energy you have when you wake up in the morning, the your endurance. sleep pattern, yes. how your sleep is going, yeah. The endurance you have when playing with your children. What other non-nominals are there? Just okay. ease of movement, like your day, depending on what you do for a living and what your house holds, like, looks like, or what you have to show up for each day. Like, mm -hmm. you need to show up for something, whether that's, like, walking down to the basement office if you're still in quarantine, or, like, getting on transit and going down. Thank you, first line workers. Um, <laughs> Yeah, whatever that looks like, you need to show up for it. So yeah. you're going to see it in non-nominal ways like, oh, climbing those like stairs. stairs. I didn't, I wasn't gassed. Oh, waking up this morning wasn't such a, like, a bummer. It's yeah. like I have more energy. Oh, or my skin looks really good today. Totally. You know, or, oh my God, I kept up with my son for the entire soccer game or basketball game. Or I didn't need to jump twice to get my jeans on. I still, I, I always need to jump. It's a the struggle. Thing. It's a struggle. Yeah. I like it. Reminds me of the 80s. Again, the 80s. Or like lay down. But it yeah. does, I mean, 
these are things that you can gauge your progress on. Totally. Stay away from the scale. Stay away from the scale. And we should talk about a lot of you, and including myself, including Tammy, we were majority kind of gym training people. So we would go to a gym, sign in, we went to the, the same gym every day, kind of, or whatever your schedule is per week. Do the junket. You do the circuit, you join the class, you'd whatever your old habit was. And it's a really big deal that now we've had to change it to be at home. And there are a lot of variables and factors that have come into play. It may be, oh my gosh, like where am I gonna do this? Where my dog isn't gonna lay on my mat and my kids aren't gonna jump on my head. And like, I'm trying to get it done and I'm doing the thing, but like I keep showing up and then they keep showing up and like that's not working out. So um, we also have children, Tammy has two and I have three if we haven't mentioned it already and they're all little kids still. So we know exactly what you're talking about. I always have squat weight. Like they're always on my back during squats. That's one approach. My approach is get the heck out. <laughs> this is my time. Um, sometimes I let them, I'm just kidding. I sound, sound like <laughs> such a mean mom. I'm actually a big pushover. <laughs> you know the rules, get in your cage. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I, they actually work out with me a lot, but like that's taken some time to add yeah. them to kind of my routine and I don't always do it. Sometimes I do need to like, you know, be like, I am not parenting right now. Like this yeah, is my you time. Need to bang it out. You may have good support at home or you may not, but like it is a really good approach to take when you allow your kids to see you take time for yourself and yeah. your self-care. Do not feel guilty about that. Do not feel guilty Especially about that. Especially now, I think everyone's facing so much. Like we've been dealing with the pandemic for way too many months. Like. Like let, this entire year has been a wash. So even just the mental fortitude it takes for you to get here, like give yourself a round of applause. Like well yeah. done, well done, yeah. honestly. Like it's not easy. We're not gonna pretend it's easy, but we're gonna be here every step of the way. And as long as you keep showing up, we'll keep showing up, right? So whatever you need to do, whether you need to schedule it, put it in your calendar as a reminder, whether you need to be accountable, post it on Instagram, tell someone, whether you need to do it along with someone. So set up that Zoom camera, have your friend work out at home while you're working out at home, just to get it done, okay? Set some yeah. goals and smash the hell out of them. I feel like one good approach is like whatever that time was, like you're, if you're like a 5 a.m. go to the gym or, or like, you know, dinner right before dinner time, whatever it is, keep the time, keep the time, work it in and then Yes, we're not a live program, but treat us like we are. Just go and press play at that same time every day. And then that's one less thing. You can maintain that habit um, like that you've been doing for however many years. And if you want feedback, we're on Instagram. We're on Instagram. You've got to be there. I'll talk back. I'll chat back. I'll chat back. Yeah. I'm happy to chat. Chat. Chatty, chatty. All right, guys, so we're going to get into it. It is mobility day, so it's a good day to just watch, move, reflect on the amazing work you've done thus far. We're proud of you. Be proud of yourself. Don't forget to give yourself that reward. I don't mean reward in the sense like, yep, I've done my job. I'm out of here. I and mean in the sense don't like... Mean cheesecake form either, because a lot of people, I think, think like when you say treat or reward, they attach it to like yeah. something not so healthy. Yeah, I mean... A little slice won't hurt, but yeah. <laughs> a little slice? Just a little slice. A little bit. Just a little slice. But we mean like, give yourself a reward. Just you recognize start. what you've done. Recognize what you've done and where you're going with it. Realize that if I've made this much progress in this little time, I can make, make you know, I can double that progress if I just hold on for these next two weeks. And then you'll start to see more um, non-nominal and nominal changes maybe and you'll love the hell out of it and then you'll be like okay what's coming for January I'm ready yeah. I'm ready because if you've done December you can do January yeah it's like the pre new year workout and everyone starts somewhere and I think people lose sight of that everyone's like how did you get started you know how are you here well we all had that first day we all had that starting oh my god I've had a million first days right just right? keep starting over and after, starting over. After each kid, after each like obstacle in life, like we tend to shy away from fitness when we have like a big life event, when we're down. 
It should be the opposite. That's when you need it more. It's like my therapy. Yeah. It is my therapy. I don't even like to call it like fitness or workout or this because that adds, I feel like for me, it adds like a pressure like, oh, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. It's just like, my I time. have to move my freaking body yeah. today. Yeah. I love sweating because I love how it feels. Makes me glow, makes me feel like I've done some shit and I get some frustrations out and it comes with all of these benefits. Like I just need to move. So this is if you She's enjoy <laughs> if you enjoy what we're doing, just come and move with us. Just call it whatever the hell you want. Just show up. Just do it. Show up. That's where Nike got it from. Just, just do, do it. it. Why didn't I think Why of didn't that? I think of that? Damn it. Shit. <laughs> All right, mobility day. Okay, we're gonna head over to the Christmas tree, grab our ankle weights. Now, I'm not gonna lie, adding the ankle weights to this mobility day is gonna be a game changer. You might curse us a little bit at the end of it, but I guarantee you it's what we need to do if you wanna burn that core out and plump the bump, okay? So we're gonna get, <laughs> I'm trying to make that right ankle weights on. And don't be shy. If you need to start with ankle weights and at some point you're like, these two bitches are crazy, take these ankle weights off. Why the hell did they tell me to add these? Yeah. I'm really wishing I got a pedicure. That might be me, actually. I might be like, why did this damn bitch tell me to go to the street and get the ankle weights? <laughs> Never should have listened. I didn't even ask for it. But you, you guys will get there. Even if you're not there right now, have them ready because you'll be there Did soon. Jam and the Rockers. Gem yeah. Remember Jam? Yeah, of course. These were her colors. I love Jam. Okay. So for mobility work, we're gonna move through a sequence of positions, 28 in total. We're gonna try to do each one for an entire minute. Okay. Now they're not gonna be forceful. They're not gonna be quick but they will move your body, create, create mobility, create range of motion, and eventually they'll also strengthen your muscles. So we're gonna get started laying on the ground, all the way down, take your hands out to the side. I want your feet about hip distance apart, no wider. We're gonna keep it on the ground, and we're just gonna start swaying gently from side to side. Okay, so you can take your gaze in the same direction of your feet, or if you'd like, you can take it in the opposite direction. Both have their functionalities. Try and keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Those back body ribs will peel away from the ground slightly as you send the knees in the other direction. Just creating mobility through that pelvic girdle, okay? Opening up the hips a little bit, as well as creating movement through the spine. Swaying from side to side, and it just feels so good. So great. Right? Yeah. Some of you might be feeling a couple little cracks and creaks. It helps to correct any, any, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Misalignments that might be happening. Or imbalance. Imbalance. Yeah. Thank you. I know you're here. Yeah, for I am in your head. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm here for a that. reason. I'm on the freaking mat with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so walk those feet wider for me. Walk them just to the outside of the mat. And then we're going to continue to sway them from side to side. Try to get your knee just to hover a few inches off the ground without forcing it. Your body has its own natural resistance points. So when you start to feel the pullback, that's where you listen to your body, okay? If you wanna get to that pullback, don't push beyond. That's where your body is saying, okay, this is where I need to stop. Swaying from side to side. Opening up that hip. I find like, this movement after a really heavy um, resistance day does wonders for realigning my spine. Sometimes, sometimes something as simple as a deadlift or a squat can misalign your pelvis and this just helps put it back right where it belongs. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna keep swaying from side to side. Can you see that timer there? Yes, we're on to the next one. Okay, pelvic tilt. On to the next one. On to the next one. This is so small that some of you might be like, what the hell are we doing? But it's important. So you're coming down to the ground and take your hands up to the sky if you'd like to, but we're just pushing that lower back into the ground. Take an inhale, arch your back away, arch it away from the ground, create a nice big curve, and then exhale, belly button to spine, push your lower back in. You'll notice your pelvis tilts down, pointing down towards your heel, 
And as you exhale, to imprint that lower back into the ground, your pubic bone is pointing up towards your knee. So we're swaying from one extreme to the other. Teeny tiny small tilt. And essentially we're creating a space where the lower rib cage and the front hip crease increases and then decreases. Is that Polar the Polar Express? Express? <laughs> Polar Express. Oh my god, it's here. It's my son's favorite movie. We watch it sometimes. Oh my god. In June. It's Fred's favorite movie. Is it? Yeah. He needs to come over and like hunker down with Jackson for some popcorn. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Oh my god, he watches it in June. Alright, next one. He watches it in June. Okay, next we have those arm arcs. So we're gonna stay in that nice neutral position, so a long line in the spine. Flip your palms towards the ceiling and we're just grazing the back of your hands along the ground like if you're making snow angels. But I want you to think of suctioning your arms nice and deep into the shoulder socket. So really making sure that we're not hanging out in the joints. There should be no load in the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. You want to arch your back here, but resist the urge. Think of pushing your back down into the ground as we take the arms up and over and down. Let's keep moving like this, mobility through the shoulder. Shoulders hold a lot of load, right? So we yeah. want to make sure that we warm it up. <laughs> Sorry. Load and tension. So much tension and in the up. shoulders. Okay, let's take those hands above the shoulders, palms together, shoulders back. Now, keep those elbows extended as we take the hands towards that TV screen or computer screen. Think of rolling across the back of your body. Inhale to come back to your center. Exhale, take it the other way. That right shoulder blade peels away from the ground. We're going across the back. Think of that thoracic spine, the back, like a bowl. So we're just rocking from one end to the other, keeping your hips on the ground. So your knees stay pointing up towards the ceiling. Our palms stay together and they almost slide away from each other as we go from side to side. Don't bend your elbows. It's as simple huh. as it seems. You might feel like, oh, I'm not doing anything. This feels wrong. We are mobilizing through the thoracic, okay? It's really important. What's the thoracic? Thoracic, <laughs> that's the upper portion of your spine that's encased by the rib cage. So we're, this portion is an up, okay? And what, what do we got next? What do we got next? Next, we have neutral bridge. Okay, all right. So, so next up, magically appears our pink thingy. Yay! Start with the hands up towards the ceiling, anchor down through the back of the arms. And then we're going to take that right arm all the way down to the ground. Just the right arm, the left arm. So you have hand. to get the resistance right. Yeah, find that sweet spot where you feel like you're working to get that arm down to the ground but it's not too much of a pull. And you'll notice that your entire body is gonna to wanna to move here. Really try to isolate the movement just to the arms going out to the side. And once you start to be aware of all those muscles in your core, you'll feel them turn on to help keep you nice and stable here. Do you feel it? I do, do I love it? this actually. It's awesome, isn't it? I love it. Take it down to pink, the ground. Pink thing for the win again. Pink thing for the win. I swear it's my favorite favorite equipment, piece of workout equipment. Okay, we're going from side to side for another. That's it. And take it down. Okay, let's get rid of the pink thingy. What's next on the docket? Docket. We neutral. have neutral bridge. Okay, so our feet are hip distance apart. Walk your heels nice and close to your bum. You should also almost be able to feel the tips of the heels. Push into your heels and lift, okay? Tap your bum down, big exhale, lift. Now Jessie has her hands up. That creates a little bit more work for your core. Less points of contact you have with the ground, the more that core is forced to turn on to help keep you stable. Tap your bum down, lift and lower, squeeze. Think of floating your toes all the way up off the ground. Float your toes. Float your toes. Float. Float, float, float. Reach the fingertips up. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze your glutes. Now, at the top of that movement, keep your heels on the ground and think of pulling your heels towards your bum and then lower down. Did you feel oh your yeah, hamstring turn on cue. more? Do you feel your hamstring turn on more? Tina? Oh yeah, it's already on. Pull your heels and down. 
All right, and take it down. Are we finishing this set or? We are. Okay, single leg. So right leg goes up towards the ceiling. We're gonna flex that ankle, take it across the left quad, okay? Keep pushing away from you with that right knee. We're gonna keep our hands up. This is masochistic. <laughs> Lift and lower. <laughs> if you need to take your hands down, don't worry. You're still getting a lot of great work. Roll the shoulders back. Think of pushing your arms into the mat. A little bit of secondary work for your triceps here. Or you can keep them up towards the ceiling if you're feeling nice and strong today and you can endure the entire set. We just want to make sure that we're not swaying too much in your hips in order to keep those hands up, okay? All right. How's your bum feeling, Jess? Yeah, I, I feel it. It's there. Lots of, iso oh. lots of isolation work for that left clip. Totally. Let's go for another five. Four, three, oh my goodness, two, don't hold your breath, don't hold your breath, last one, take it down, okay, okay. let's switch sides, right foot on the ground, we're going to take that left foot all the way up, flex it across that quad of the right leg, and if your hands are out for the other side, let's try to do the same thing here, okay, shoulders back, lift and lower, just as before, we're still floating the toes off the ground, are her toes up? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Are your toes up? Float them off the ground. Whose toe is mine? No, Tina. Oh, yeah. And Our Rhonda. Mom. And Joan. And Sarah. Mary. And Sarah. Yeah. What was that show where he had the thing? He's like, I can see you. Hi there, little Janie. That is scary. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. Who can see me? Who? <laughs> Mr. Rogers, no. Oh my god, that is really scary. <laughs> oh. I don't like that. He was a sweet man. What was he? Isn't that <laughs> terrible that we think that's creepy? Right now it's creepy in the world we live in. Okay, yeah. last one. And take it down. Okay, let's take our hands down to the ground. Both feet come down. We're still in neutral, so we can still touch our heels. We're coming into our bridge and then floating to our toes. Okay, lift your heels all the way up. Drop your heels and tap your bum down. So let's find breath, okay? Big exhale, lift into your bridge. Exhale, lift up to your toes. Exhale, drop your heels. Exhale, tap your bum. Obviously there's inhales in between there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> exhale, 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 exhale. What if at the beginning, like I just, I'm just breathing. Like I can't focus on that many things. Is that okay? Just breathe. Whatever you're doing, as long as it's not hindering your movement. That's why I'm saying focus on the exhales. The inhales will take care of themselves. You tend to think inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It gets to be such a huge task. But if you think exhale, 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 then it becomes more, more second nature where you automatically breathe at these points. How you doing? <laughs> Are you just breathing? <laughs> Yeah, I asked for myself. <laughs> I thought so you were, what if people at home I can't keep for Joan. <laughs> I thought you were asking for Joan. Okay, and take it down. Oh, okay. Ooh. So your it's entire glitch is yes. awake. I Let's flip that. it over. Let's clam it out. Okay, so for the clam, it's so important to get into that proper alignment. A lot of people tend to be up here. We want to come into a nice neutral spine, which means a long line. Fun fact, your core turns on 25% more when you're neutral. So that's, that's enough oh, motivation. I did not right? know that. Now you know. Pull your knees all the way in towards your chest, forming a nice 90 degree angle right at the hip crease, and line your shins up with the outside of your mat. We're going to glue our heels together and just lift and lower that top knee. How do you know you're doing this right? We should feel it in our side bum. I was going to say. Uh, think, yeah. Think of reaching the top knee longer than the bottom knee. Keep sending that top knee forward. It helps keep your hips stacked right on top, one on, one on top of the other. Obviously, that's what stacked means. Nice. Isn't that like a fun little cue? Keep sending that knee forward. Keep sending it forward. It's not about how high we can open up that top knee, but we just want to maintain stacked hips. Once that leg is fully extended, we'll feel that glute activate. 
If you can't feel it for some strange reason, take your hand and touch your bum. You don't have to touch yourself. Sometimes the power of touch is what we need to let our body know exactly where we should be feeling something. I definitely hear that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to add on to this one. And take it down. Now, we're going to float your knees and your heels at the same time. We're no prejudice here. Love them both equally. Float them up, point your toes, and extend that knee long. Okay? Bend your knee, lower it all down. Lift, extend, bend, lower. When we extend that leg, we want to make sure our knees still stacked one on top of the other. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Lift, extend, bend, lower. Feel that burn. Yes, I love these. This right is what I call TV work. This is You're at really home really <laughs> in front of the TV. This is like the perfect thing to do. Super effective with the ankle weight for sure. I'm glad we added them. Woo! Feel that burn! Yes. Okay. Almost at the end of this one. Last five seconds. Oh, burn so good. <laughs> and last one. Okay, let's flip it over. Oh, 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 oh. You feel it? I, oh, I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, clams to start, right. So we're going back, starting at clams. Also, if you strengthen your glute meds, so that kind of glute muscle on the side, glute medius, I should say, then it helps with balance. And then in those glute max exercises, you really learn or you are really much more capable of getting in that real isolating that glute. So it's change out. is my favorite. Feels so good. It's like there is no question about what you're working here. It's definitely working. <laughs> right? One of those one of those movements where you're like, okay, I know what we're working. Yeah. I was looking in a mirror. You thought you were looking in a mirror? Yeah, we're I totally in sync. Totally understand that. Now, this is really the hamstring of that left leg is likely to turn on. How do you know it's working? Three, two, and last one. Let's not finish it. Take it down. Let it come down. You need to hug your knees. Go for it. Come close. And release. 
Okay, let's come right back down to your bridge. This time, we're going to extend the left leg over. Point your toe. Keep your knees in line with one another. We don't want it up here, okay? That's not what we're working on today. We're going to open it up. Big exhale. Pull it back to center. Tap it on down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. That's it. All right, so what am I working when I bring that leg out to the side? So we're still on those adductors and adductor muscles. You'll also notice your core is working. I was going to say. stable. This is what we were talking about the other day when we were talking about secondary muscle groups and primary muscle groups. Well, something's just working with it. Even though there's lots of glute isolation and hamstring isolation on the right leg, I don't know. Ah, feel it, I feel it, I feel it. And last one. Finish it. Take it down. Woo. Take it down your knees. Yeah. Good job. Okay, so come all the way up. Flip it over. Superman time. Oh man. <laughs> Superman. Superman. Okay, oh. with the weights, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Okay, Superman, the first thing we want to do is tuck that pubic bone down to the mat. <laughs> mm. Ready? One, two, three. And we're floating the legs up, floating your chest up. Try to keep looking just at the top of your mat so we're not leading with the top of our head. Rather, we're lifting through the back. If this is too much for you, we can lift the legs and then lift the upper body, lift the legs and then lift the upper body. If you have any lower back issues, we're definitely gonna alternate rather than doing both the hip extension and the chest extension at the same time. You'll, you'll find that if you're one of those people where your goals are kind of to look chiseled, I feel like the lower back is one of the last things to come. So this right here, lower back, rectus of, uh, what are they called? The bum? Rectus of, no, um, my God, what is wrong with me? What, the lats? No, the lower, the muscles in your lower back. Lo look, um, uh, L, L. Oh my gosh. Just L delete Q's. that whole part. Oh, Hughes. Something lumborium. <laughs> I can't think of no. it. I can't think of it. Anyway. Like Those are really room. hard to target. Quadratus lumborium. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Quadratus lumborium. Okay, and take it down. Chill mode. Now let's stack our palms. Take your forehead down to the back of your hands. I'm going to keep looking this way just so I can see what you're doing. Tuck your pubic bone under, float your legs up. So we're just focusing on the legs. Now let's add a little bit to it. Lift the legs up. Bring the heels together, open it up, and lower it down. I see Lift you. Together, down. Your nails look great. How is that happening? Except for that guy. What happened? Yeah, okay. Right now? <laughs> really? What happened? Come on. What happened? What do you mean? I You're have three kids and a here. dog. And a dog. I have two kids and a rabbit. Who thinks he's a dog? He thinks he's a dog. Is That's that so normal? cute. Your rabbit is so cute. He was like digging holes in the... Hey, trying to break the bag. Lift. Okay. Should be feeling this. Oh. I'm feeling this. Fred, can you get a close up of one of our bums? <laughs> See, turning on right now. Turn on. <laughs> there we go. Close up on the bum. You have permission. For <laughs> whose butt? Either we one. Share, we share You're the same giving brain. Brain. <laughs> okay. Same brain, same butt. <laughs> same brain. Okay, last three, two, oh, last one. Okay, let's slide our hands back next to our heart. Push the ground away from you. Take a quick little shell stretch. Uh, I love this. Oh, feels so good. And then let's come into our cat cow. I'm not calling anybody a cow, by the way. No. Okay, push the ground away from you. Let your head fall down to the ground. Think of reaching the top of your back towards the sky like a scared cat. And take a nice big inhale, gaze forward, sink your heart, flare your sit bones. Let's go cat. Take a second to really enjoy 
Oh, I am. Oh, this feels so good. If oh. one feels more pleasing than the other, feel free to hang out there for a little bit longer. And you can move around in this, kind of in these positions. Experiment. We're still talking about cat cow, right? <laughs> I thought we didn't go there on mobility day. I don't know. Just try everything once. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything once. Breathe. Okay. Come back to neutral. So we're neither in cat nor cow. We're finding that long line in the back of our body again. Eyes down at your mat. Okay, push into both palms evenly, and then we're gonna extend that right leg long. Don't let your hips sway here, okay? We're gonna keep the hips nice and tight. We're not opening it up. Float that leg up, take it up and over. Like we're making rainbows. Tap it down, up and over. So you'll notice that we're pointing our toes as we take it across the body, flexing our ankles as we bring it back. So lots of core engagement here just to be able to stay with that knee under hip and those wrists under shoulders no as you move. Don't worry about speeding it up. Ooh. Oh yeah. I was on a mission. Okay. Ooh. Keep going, keep going. Love the ankle weights here. We're not Just sorry. Saying. Not sorry. Okay, last three, two, last one. So what we do to one side, we have to do to the other, right? <laughs> if you have wrist issues here, this could be a lot of load. Come up to those fists if you need to, okay? Shoulders back, don't let your chest sink down. Mm -hmm. Slide that left leg out. <laughs> Watch that starting position. Make sure you're in that proper tabletop. And then float it up to hip height, up and over. Remember, we don't want to open up through the hips, so none of this. We're keeping that hip square. Jesse, you have a stink fly. I know. This <laughs> damn fly. Get away from here. Stink fly? <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> What's this guy's name from Charlie Brown? Oh, Linus? Linus? <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm a stink fly in a dust cloud. <laughs> I need a blankie. Help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> not a stink fly. I'm not thinking about my bum right now, so that's good. I'm thinking about your stink fly. <laughs> <laughs> my stink fly is going to come visit your bum. <laughs> okay, last 10 seconds. Keep pushing into those fists. Last three. Two. And one. Woo okay, I need a shell stretch. How about you? I do. Okay. I can always use this. What do you call it? Shell stretch. Oh. In yoga, they call it child's pose. Yeah, I was going to say. Shell stretch. Because gotcha. curling up like a shell. Right. Now the curl on up. Come back into hands and knees for hydrants. Now, hydrants. The oh my easiest gosh. way to think of these is like if you're a puppy, a male puppy, and you're marking your territory. Okay? So push down into those palms or fists, and then we are lifting our leg out to the side. Again, we're not trying to open up through the hips. You want to keep your gaze down. But you do want range of motion, right? There's like yeah. a fine line. So, so you want to come to. You want to come to hip height and back down. You want to keep your breastbone square to the ground. You want to keep your hip bone square to the ground. So you're only going as high while you can maintain both of them pointing down towards the ground. So if these were flashlights, you want them pointing down, okay? That's what we're talking about. Shine those lights down. Shine it down. Are you making up a song? No. That's a song? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you sang it. It's impressive. Everything. 
It's convincing. It's like hanging out with my daughter. She sings everything. So does mine, actually. I'm going to be good at math. <laughs> that was her song yesterday. I'm going to be good at math. My kids are into their Christmas songwriting right now. Holiday songwriting. There's Can't a workshop. Woo. Woo. Holiday songwriting? That's a workshop? At my house, yeah. That's so you fun. didn't know? No. Good. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. So Jackson had to make a newsletter at school, and he's like talking about himself. I also learned he wants to be a race car driver, which I kind of knew anyway. <laughs> that is the least shocking thing I've ever heard. But there's this one part where they have to talk about their everyday heroes. Oh my gosh. Am Do I going to cry right now? He said, my sister. Oh my gosh. Said, my sister is my everyday hero. Are you serious? I'll show you the picture. I feel like she's just saying this for camera. No, I will show it's you true? the picture. He wrote, my sister, there was a picture he drew. My sister is my, my everyday hero because she cheers me up when I'm sad. Aww. I get this. He drew a picture of her with glasses and all and a unicorn on her shirt. Oh my gosh, that's so her. <laughs> glasses and unicorn. <laughs> she is so cute. It made my eyes leak. Yeah, you think? Just a little. I never expected that because he's always like... He's like roughs up his sister. Yeah, he like tells her what wants to do. Wants nothing to do with her. He thinks he's the boss. I'm like, you're not the parent. <laughs> like her favorite thing to say to him is, stop parenting me. <laughs> yes. They're 15 months apart. <laughs> it's not even like they're years apart. They're literally 15 months apart and he tells her what to do. Anyways, flip it over. Out girl time. Oh, yay. Stop parenting. <laughs> stop, stop parenting. Stop parenting. <laughs> okay, coming down. Carson, come ahead. Now, what nice and loose grip on So we're keeping that angle. Exactly. You can always roll up a towel and put it behind your knees to help you. Get that movement pattern down. The lower abdominal will feel the most, especially if you're wearing the ankle weight once you have that proper form. Back, back, back. Remember to round that back into the floor to properly engage the core. Ten? I said ten. 
seconds? No, count. Now we're seven. My bones, my back just broke. Now we're gonna go to the ab burner. Huh? <laughs> now we're gonna go to the ab burner. Now for the ab burner. Okay, leg raises. I'm gonna take my hands below my lower lumbar for a little bit of support. You can also take them up to the side. We're taking the legs all the way up towards the side. So right hand is gonna be able Think of lowering the legs down to the ground. We're opening them up and moving them back together. Okay? So down, take them wide. So if you've just had a baby, this one is not for you. Stick with the crunch. As we know, your abdominal wall splits in order for the baby to grow. So you definitely do not want, you want that to repair itself and grow back together. Therefore, you do not want diastasis, which is when your organs come through that middle part and you herniate. So. Definitely do not do this. Okay, go so for another time. Unless you've been cleared. Four. Three. Two. One more. Let's go for it. Ta da! Woo! I'm actually sweating. I love, love, love mobility days. I love them. I think they make everything else like so much stronger. It's true. Right? My cardio days, I have more agility. My strength days, I have more mobility. And that just refers to the range of motion in your joints. And if you're loading your movements with weight, you definitely need proper range of motion. Yes. Yeah. This is something you should not be skipping. This not day, whether it's with us or with somebody else, hopefully with us, do not skip some type of mobility training. Look for those words, mobility, meaning like range of motion and learning how to engage the right muscles. Engorge. <laughs> learning how to engorge. That's a whole other show. <laughs> um, That's another episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's Christmas Day. Save. No. <laughs> Stretch your pants. <laughs> oh, God. No, so yeah, definitely do not skip Mobility Day because it's the kind of the hidden secret into people. It's that next level. Um, there's lots of people that fully strength train or CrossFit, but like to truly be functional in life and show up for what you need, and you just simply are not moving within a few degrees. Ideally, you're going to create more strength. You're going to create ease of movement if you have some type of mobility training. The perfect plan, the perfect, perfect, and I, I shouldn't say perfect, the ideal workout regime should encompass cardiovascular training. It should... Getting it should, your heart rate up. Yeah. It should encompass some resistance training. And resistance training does not necessarily mean you're pushing weight around. You can create resistance with the pink thingy. You can create resistance with the core bands. Or you with your body weight. With your own body weight. This in, is also resistance tied in with mobility. Last but not least, mobility. That is like the perfect little sandwich mm -hmm. to eat mm -hmm. for a successful, <laughs> for a success. I'm hungry. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> sandwich. That's the perfect, perfect recipe, okay? So resistance, cardiovascular training, and mobility. What does that sound like? A sandwich? No, it sounds like what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Get I'm your mind pretty out of the sure. kitchen, Tammy. Get I'm your <laughs> mind out of the kitchen. I'm like a sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich. Fred's doing a sandwich in your pocket. Or like Paddington Bear in his hat. It's <laughs> a good idea. Just like crawl little up the sandwich. mat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Good work. We have two more days left in this week. So stick it out. Just go day by day. Don't even think about next week. Don't think about two days from now. Don't think about tomorrow. Just think about now. Take the box.
Yeah, tomorrow, add it to your list, show up, and we'll see you then.